Vice President Constantino Chiwenga reiterated his pledge from last year to demolish and build new homes in Bay, stating that earlier efforts by the government had been thwarted by the opposition-led Harare City Council. Speaking at a campaign event in the oldest and most populous high-density district of the city, Chiwenga promised that immediately after the elections, the ZANU PF government would pass legislation prohibiting councils led by the opposition party from interfering with development initiatives. When I first arrived in this country in 2018, I brought up the Matopi and Shoasha flats, stating that these, together with Sakapa Mute, Koba Gweru, and Makakoba Bulawayo, need to be fixed. Plans for building were submitted, but Citizens Coalition of Change CCC rejected the proposal on the grounds that, if those structures are built, you will lose our votes. That is no longer relevant. We granted them some leeway, and we'll invoke the law so that, if we want to build better housing for our people, we'll do it regardless of the council's opinion. He said. Zenu PF supporters were urged to ensure the party's success in urban areas by Chiwenga. There are no lingering doubts. Humans are responsible for creating laws, and they are also responsible for revoking laws that do not benefit our population. We will make Zimbabwe great if you support Zenu PF affiliated councils, he pleaded. In order to elevate Mbe Musica and Mupa Cinema market to a world-class market in the vein of what other nations are doing. I have come here with local government minister July Moyo. He claimed that opposition-led councils were failing the people. You have been electing MDC and CCC councils. Nothing significant has been happening in terms of development. Cities have been devastated by them. These days, if you want pure air, you travel to the country, since there is so much rubbish everywhere, Chiwenga added. Before to the 2018 elections, President Emerson Umnangogwa visited the rundown apartments in the suburb and pledged to rehabilitate them, but he hasn't done it yet. A Bell and Melinda Gates Foundation-funded initiative to renovate the Matopi flats in Bear failed to get off the ground in 2011 because it ran afoul of the terrorist organization Chipengeno, which has ties to ZANU PF. The flats, which were constructed during the colonial era to house male laborers, are today inhabited by thousands of families who utilize shared restrooms and drinking fountains.